Hello everyone. Today we will talk about XPath and its use in Selenium automation. Myself, Kanika Kucheria, will talk about the topic. Before we talk about XPath, let us see some basic concepts. First is the HTML. It is called as Hypertext Markup Language. It is a standard language to design any web page. Below is an example of an HTML file. In HTML, we have tags, its attributes, and values. So HTML, body, h2, form, these are all tags. And inside the tags, like for example, in inside input tag, type is its attribute, and text will be the value of the attribute. Similarly, name, value, these are other attributes and their respective values. On the right hand side, we can see its tree structure. So HTML is the root element. Then comes the child body, which has two children, H2 and form. And form has three children, input, input and input. So if we want to navigate to this input tag, we will choose the path as HTML, then body, then form, and then input. So here comes the concept of XPath. XPath is the W3C standard. It is called as XML path language. It is the path to navigate to any element in an XML using HTML DOM structure. Let's talk more about XPath. There are different types of locators available in Selenium automation. For example, ID, class name, name, etc. These locators are used to locate or identify any element in a web page which can be used further for automation. XPath in similar lines is an alternate locator. The syntax of this XPath is uh, mentioned below. So this is forward slash tag name an attribute and its value. Each uh, thing has its own significance. So forward slash mentions the current node, tag name mentions the tag name, the way we see, we have seen in the previous slide, that is the tag names. Then inside the braces, at the rate, and then the attribute name and the value of that attribute. Let's see the next slide where we have certain examples of this syntax. So, for example, we have this kind of HTML tag. So, let us see how we can write the XPath of this tag. There are different ways. For example, forward slash input, that is the tag name, then at the rate, ID is the attribute name and its value. The alternate way is forward slash input, at the rate, name is equals to text name, and so on. Now, if an HTML tag has an hyperlink, so its XPath would be forward slash, the tag name A, then inside the braces, at the rate, href, that is the attribute name and its value. Now, we have talked about XPath. Now, let's see how we can generate the XPath. First is the manual way, the way we have seen in the previous slide. But in this case, sometimes the HTML file is quite big or complex and writing the XPath of each and every element manually would be quite a tedious task. In this case, there are certain utilities which can help us. For example, first is the Chrome browser, that is the web browser. It has inbuilt utility to inspect and generate the XPath. The second utility is FirePath. It is a Firefox, Firefox extension which can be downloaded with the Firefox browser. It also helps us to inspect and generate the XPath. Let us see the demo to get more clarity. Now, this is the Chrome browser. I'll open the web page and see how we can generate the XPath for that. 
open tag inquiry form of Tech Canvas. And we want to get the X path of this web element. So let's see how we can do this. Right click, inspect. The HTML DOM structure will open. Right click, copy, X path. So in this case, the X path is. Now let's see the same thing in. Get the XPath using the Firefox uh, FirePath plugin. So in the right hand side, there would be the icon. So we need to open it. Select it. Use this. The XPath will be generated. We can copy this XPath, and below is the HTML DOM structure. Similarly, for example, I want to get the XPath of this tag. So I click on this and select it. So XPath of email would be generated here and we can use it. So now let's go back to our slide. So we have discussed about ways to generate the XPath. Now let's talk about the types of XPath in Selenium. First is the absolute XPath and second is the relative XPath. Absolute XPath is a direct way to find an element in a web page. In this, we have to give the complete path of the element. By complete path, we mean that we have to start from the starting tag, that is the HTML, and mention all the elements that comes into the hierarchy. It always starts with single forward slash. Relative XPath is simpler. It can start from anywhere in the HTML DOM structure. Its syntax starts with a double forward slash. So uh, how to interpret this is that our automation script will search for any element in the whole HTML file which has attribute ID and whose values text name. So we'll, it, uh, it will give that element to us. Now let us see the demo where we have used both the types of XPath. Now here, is, this is my Java Selenium code. I have used absolute XPath in my automation. Let me run this program and explain. The program will open a Chrome browser where it will hit the contact inquiry form of uh, Tech Canvas. And here, uh, through automation, we'll pick up this phone number and print it on our screen. That is console. So this has been done. Now let me explain the program. So this is the, I have set the property of WebDriver. Then I have mentioned the link, that is the Tech Canvas. And then I've used find element by XPath. So this is the locator. XPath that we have used. And inside the locator, we have to pass the string of XPath, which can be absolute or relative. So here we have passed the absolute XPath of that element. So this element will get that value and will be stored in the string of phone number, which I have printed on the console. Now let's see how we have got this XPath. Uh, on the browser, from browser, right click, inspect, copy element, copy XPath, and this is the absolute XPath that I have mentioned in my code. Okay. So this was all about absolute XPath. Now let's see a relative XPath example. Let me uh, execute this program. So in relative XPath, I have used the same URL, contact inquiry form. And through automation, we are trying to fill this form. So all the values have been filled and the program is executed successfully. So let me explain this program here. We have defined the WebDriver property the URL and then different locators.
that we have used. So by dot xpath and inside the braces, we have passed the relative xpath here. So for name, email, these are all the relative xpath values that we have passed. And how we have written this? We have copied in the browser, like for example, name, right click, inspect, copy, xpath, and we can paste it. Name that we have used. This was all about the types of XPath and Selenium. In our next demo, we'll talk more about deeper concepts of XPath, like dynamic XPath and how we can write different types of dynamic XPath using Selenium automation. And so keep tuned for more videos on Tech Canvas. Thank you.